Greetings fellow Dwarfers, just a quick one for you today. What's going on with Rimmer's rank in the Promised Land? For over 30 years, Rimmer's been stuck at the measly rank of second technician, with the single notable exception of two thirds of an episode in season 11. Yet in the Promised Land, Arnold introduces himself to the freshly reloaded Holly, not as a second tech, but as a first technician. I am first technician Arnold J. Rimmer, BSC, SSC. Now in my Promised Land analysis, I suggested that this could either mean that Arnold somehow got promoted between season 12 and the Promised Land. Alternatively, it could simply be Arnold lying to try and make himself seem a little more senior to the new Holly. Or far less interestingly, it could just be a simple script error. Well, with the line now committed to screen and part of the primary Red Dwarf canon, we have to ignore the mistake option and find an in-universe explanation. Since my Promised Land analysis suggesting those three reasons, I've had a number of comments suggesting a few alternative reasons. So let's take a look at a couple of these. One common suggestion was that after resigning his deceitfully attained commission in Officer Rimmer from season 11, Arnold could have perhaps only dropped down as low as first tech instead of second. The problem with this theory is that just a few episodes later in season 12, Arnold calls himself a second tech again. As second technician and acting senior officer on board the JN And checking the final season 12 episode, Skipper, we see a full screen written example of Rimmer's rank, right on his private property. In this case, his collection of vintage wires clearly states second technician. And given that this is the man who sewed name labels onto his ship-issued condoms, we can be 100% sure that a new, higher rank would have been updated everywhere, especially his private property. So I reckon we can quite definitively write off the idea of Rimmer demoting himself only as far down as first tech, and be sure that he was indeed still a second tech right up to the end of the final season before the Promised Land. Another suggestion I've received does have some merit. It's the idea that the first tech could be a tribute to the book Infinity Welcomes Careful Drivers, where Arnold is a first tech throughout. This one could well be possible, however, it doesn't give us an on-screen, in-universe explanation, so we'll have to keep on going. This leaves only my original two suggestions. Either he got promoted between Season 12 and The Promised Land, or he's simply lying to Holly. Now in The Promised Land, when Arnold's introducing himself, we don't get major reactions from the rest of the boys, but we do get some rolling of eyes and slight shaking of heads. I'd put these reactions in line with either thinking Rimmer's a goit for lying, or thinking he's a pompous ass for using such a pointlessly long title for himself. So the other guy's reactions don't nail things down any further. However, Holly's reaction does. At this point of the promised land, this isn't the easygoing wheeze of the week, April Fool's gag telling senile Holly we all know and love. This Holly is factory fresh, devoid of humor, anal retentive, and a strict follower of JMC rules. He's also smart, knowing instantly that the Cat and Crytum are not part of the original crew, and that Lister had committed a crime right back in the day three million years earlier. Yet with all that knowledge and fastidious rule following, when Arnold apparently gives the wrong rank, Holly doesn't point out Rimmer's mistake. Logically, this can only be because First Tech is now his correct rank. Yes, far-fetched as it may seem, Rimmer, somehow between the episode Skipper and The Promised Land, has got himself elevated one command point to First Tech. How? I don't know. Why? Smeg knows. But by a logical process of elimination, I think it seems the most likely explanation. And before everyone points out the absence of a senior crew member to dish out promotions, it was stated in Dear Dave that the JMC onboard computer could demote Rimmer. So, in theory, it must also have the power to promote Rimmer. will be demoted to third technician. After all, it had the authority to posthumously give Howard Rimmer a military declaration. So there we have it, Smeggers. What do you all think? Am I right on it? Or am I right off my rocker? 
is using logic and Rimmer in the same sentence, about as clever and sane as Sparehead Free? Let me know what you think is most likely in the comments below. Well, there you go, guys. Just a short one today, but I thought this would be an interesting little subject. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, then give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you've not done so already. And if you want to know when the next videos are out, hit the bell icon as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put your suggestions and ideas in the comments below. And I... We'll see you next time, Smegheads.